everyone and welcome to the Talk Slayer series. This is a series that is brought to you by Pal and Mark. We're hoping to upload a new video every week, so as we're doing tasks, we'll be uploading them constantly onto YouTube. So we hope you enjoy it, so give us a thumbs up and show some support. First task that we'll be showing you guys is the Mitchell Dragons. And for every task, we plan to um, show you both the welfare setup and also a high level player setup. So for the welfare setup, for inventory, um, we're using extreme magics. You can replace this with super magics. I have super anti-fires and that's because I'm not using a DFS. And um, if you do have the ability to make super anti-fires, we highly recommend it. I'm using two prayer potions and that's because I'm using a demon horn necklace and a bone crusher in order to reduce the prayer drain. and. Essentially, you don't really need prayer pots if you have these. I also have my enchanted gem. Never forget this. Or you can also bring a slayer ring as well. In terms of familiars, I'm using a unicorn stallion with the healing aura scroll. And I have a super restore just in case my uh, summoning bar drains. Um, I have monkfish. Or you could replace this with any type of fish, but you really don't need it. It's mostly as a backup in case something happens. Now, in terms of the spell I'm using, I'm using Rock Barrage. Mithril Dragons are weak to Earth style spells and also um, Blood Barrage as well. Blood Barrage is really good if you're trying to heal as well. Um, but I'm using Rock Barrage because it does good DPS. As for the abilities on my action bar, I'm using Resonance and Rejuvenate as the um, most important ones. I also have some basic abilities in order to get my momentum up. Um, momentum works well, however, um, with uh, welfare gear such as arms, uh, I don't recommend it because um, you do take a lot of damage and you really need to use abilities such as Rejuvenate. And in terms of the equipment, I'm using a full Slayer Helm um, using arms because it's relatively cheap. Um, I have boots of subjugation, gloves of subjugation, and um, an onyx ring as well. Um, the onyx ring has a good critical bonus, so it's really good to use. Um, I'm using a soul wars cape, uh, it has good prayer bonuses, and a master wand for more DPS. Um, in terms of kite shields or um, shields in general, I'm using a farseer. This could be easily replaced with a uh, vertus book or an arms mage book which also acts as shields and um, they're better for uh, DPS. However, um, you could also use a Grafolic Orb. It works well as well, however, it does not let you use the abilities such as Resonance or Rejuvenate. So the place that we'll be slaying at is in the Ancient Cavern. There are several methods of getting here. The first method would be using your Ferocious Ring. The second, your Slayer Ring, and lastly, you can also use your Games Necklace to teleport to the Barbarian Outpost and run south. So, let's begin. Uh, before you go into the um, Mythical Dragon area, you first want to pot up. This includes your Super Anti-Fire and your Extreme Magic Potion. One thing to note is that the Mythical Dragons have been infested with bots lately, and in order to get a good spot, the only um, area that's available right now is the west area. So once you come up the stairs, go to the west, uh, quickly activate your Quick Prayers, and um, set your Rock Barrage or whatever spell you use to autocast. Now there's several methods you can use once you get here, but I prefer using the Rejuvenate ability. The Rejuvenate ability heals approximately 40% of your total life points. So what you want to do once you get here is use those basic abilities in the action bar in order to get 100% of the full action bar and then use Rejuvenate as you can see right here. And this heals a lot of your life points and in combination with the Unicorn Stallion healing aura, it works fairly decent and protects against the damage against the Mithril Dragons and Mythic Dragons do hit relatively high and therefore you really want to use this ability and the Unicorn Stallion at the same time. The reason for using the Demon Horn Necklace instead of the Arcane Stream is because Jagex has updated the amount of prayer points you gain for each Dragonborn you bury. It is now set to 300 points 
and therefore your prayer points will be high at all times if you use the demon horn necklace. Now for the pro setup. I'm using full Virtus with a Slayer Helm. Um, gloves are the Spellcaster gloves, you can also use the Barrow's gloves. I use the Onyx Eye Ring for every task. Uh, I'm using the Arcane Stream Necklace, Rage Fire Boots, uh, Master Wand, Completion Escape. And I'm using an Arcane Spirit Shield, I'm not sure whether that's the best option. But I would rather use a shield for the Mithril Dragon task, so you can use uh, the Resonance ability. Um, you can also use the Virtus book, the Erdens book, um, any orb. In my inventory I have these 8 items for every task. I never bang them when I slay. Bone Crusher, Herbicide, Ferocious Ring, the Taco Ring to bang, um, some Cannonballs, Steel Titan Scrolls, an extra Steel Titan Pouch and Slayer Ring. Bring 2 Overload, Renewals, Super Anti-Fire, uh, like 7 Prayer Potions. Dreadnips and Earth Barrage runes. Then the action bar is pretty much the same as the, the Welfare gear setup. Um, you want to use like four basic abilities and resonance. So I use Rack, Combust, Impact, and Chain and resonance. Uh, then you want Wild Magic and Asphyxiate. Um, as an ultimate, you want to use Metamorphosis and or Omni Power. Okay, so go to the Mithril Dragons, auto-cast Rock Barrage, put on your prayers, Overload, Renewal, Anti-Fire, and go to the spot. You, um, you may want to put your Familiar Special on your action bar as well, might make it some easier. Now what you want to do is build up your Adrenaline to 50% using the basic abilities and resonance, then use Asphyxiate and Wild Magic. Then build up your Adrenaline bar to 100%, Use Metamorphosis and build up your Adrenaline to 50% as fast as you can to use Asphyxiate again. Keep repeating this and if you want to use an ultimate but you can't use Metamorphosis yet, use Omni Power. Alright, so that was the first video of our Slayer series. We hope you enjoyed and learned something about the Mithril Dragon tasks and we'll see you next time.